You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Today I have a good friend with me, Joan Madden, who is one of our volunteer extraordinaires. Welcome, Joan. Nice to see you. Thank you for having me, Thanks Mark. for coming on. We have a big Salisbury Park reunion coming up, number 15, mm -hmm. if I'm correct. And mm -hmm. I've enjoyed going over the years. You've been kind enough to invite me. Um, Let's talk about it. It's coming up. Give us the date first. September 12th is always the Labor Day after, uh, the Saturday after Labor Day. Saturday after always. Labor Day. Yeah. So we can mm -hmm. set a clock to that, put That's it in the right. calendar every yeah. year and know that. Yeah, exactly. What time? How, what time is it happening? Well, you know, people start putting their tents up um, the night before. Mm -hmm. So um, I always say from sunrise to sunset. Now, you and I know where Salisbury Park is. Tell everybody else where it is. Behind the Pluff School on Crescent Street. Okay, and the Pluff School on is Crescent Street, you got the pool there. Right. Okay. Right. And the grounds, those beautiful, lovely grounds that exactly. are over there, right near the Salisbury River. That's right. That's why it's Salisbury That's right. Park. That's right. Okay. Um, how long, I mean, why the Salisbury Park reunion? Why do you do that? Okay, this is a, that's a good question because I would love telling this story. Um, those of us who grew up in the 50s used to play there. Mm -hmm. That was our, uh, like our backyard, you know. We'd go, we'd go there in the wintertime and do a lot of ice skating. Mm -hmm. That There's a little pond there behind the Plus School. It's about that big now, but right. when we were kids it was that big. Okay. And uh, in the summertime we played softball there. Our parents didn't have to worry about us back then. I, I love the fact that I grew up in the 50s. I, I, I feel fortunate that uh, we grew up in the 50s because it was clean fun and mm -hmm. the parents didn't have to worry about us. So a, bu a bunch of us got together and said, let's give a reunion mm -hmm. for those of us who grew up in the 50s. That was back in 2000 and we've been doing it ever since. And it was a different neighborhood back in that's the 50s. That's right. Before Urban Renewal, before that's, they built Crescent right. Court, yeah. there were yeah. different streets that are there that's that are no right. longer there. That's right. It was a pretty diverse community too, Yes, John. it was. It was, it was yes, African American, it was. there was Jewish. And Italian. Italian. That's right. Okay. That's right. Because yeah. we had friends from Snow Street, which was where Trinity Village is right now. Mm -hmm. And we had um, people from Bay Street, Haywood Street, Lincoln Street. Everett Street, all in that area where the post office is on Commercial Street, all in there. Right. Yeah. Because it wasn't Commercial Street. Then, exactly. Was it? it was Bay Street. Okay, there mm -hmm. you go. And yeah. uh, I'm always fascinated by stuff like that. When I watch Chronicle on Channel 5, they talk about the Quabbin Reservoir and all the towns that ended up underwater so they could build the Quabbin Reservoir. Right. And in, in, in terms of progress, at the time, the city tore it all down, put up the housing over there yeah. and neighborhoods disappear. That's right. So That's right. you're nostalgic, yes. right? Yes. I saw but kosher butcher shops there. The the place that was Capeway Aluminum is now a church. It was a temple. It was a synagogue at, yeah. the, at that point That's in time. Right. Yeah. This is way before the plus mm -hmm. school, mm -hmm. maybe even before the, well, the Payne School's been there quite a long time. Right. That, that, was our, that was our junior high. Um, now, I asked you about ages. Mm -hmm. What are the ages that go to this? Now, you, you get the people that grew up in the 50s like yourself. Right. In the 70s. But it's multi-generational, right? That's right. Yes, it is. Because the grandparents go mm -hmm. and the grandkids, great-grandkids. And that's why the kids behave themselves. We, we haven't had any, uh, uh, any disorder the whole time, the whole uh, 15 years. And I pray to God that we continue the um, type of people that come in. We hope that no one infiltrates themselves into our picnic and spoil everything, mm -hmm. you know, because the kids respect their grandparents, they respect their parents, so they're going to behave themselves. Now, usually, it's it's ra is it rain or shine? Um, we we had we, yeah we usually say that if it rains we do it on Sunday, but that only happened one time and it didn't uh, pan out too well because people had set their minds to that Saturday. Mm -hmm. And some people showed up that next day on Sunday, but it wasn't, and the ground was still wet. So oh, yeah, God has really blessed us and gave, you know, has given us um, beautiful days. Well, I have a feeling you might have some kind of connection to that, Joe. <laughs> you're, you're faithful, and uh, I'm sure you said a few prayers along the way. Amen um, to that. Now, this has been going on, like you said, for 15 years. Mm -hmm. You guys are children of the 50s. That's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, what about the next generation getting involved and, 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 and taking it over and perpetuating the memories? Oh, Mark, I, I, I wish we could get the, the kids from the next generation to become involved. They're, they're pretty good at giving suggestions. Like I had a, um, Lila's uh, daughter call me 
uh, giving a suggestion that we bring all pictures there mm -hmm. this year. We, we did it the first year, but she um, revamped it by asking me to to um, do it this year because I have a picture of her older brother when he was a teenager with a great big afro. Okay. So I said I'll bring it with me to the picnic. So she says, we, we, "Why don't we have a, you know a board where we can have people put their old pictures up there?" And then I called Norma, who was one of the members. I call her Thinking Lincoln, but I called Norma and she suggested that we put on the top of it, help yourself, because I have pictures in my, a great big box of pictures. Mm -hmm. After I pass away, my kids aren't going to know who these people are, you know? Mm -hmm. So if I put it up there and the kid says, oh, that's my mother or that's my big sister, they can just help themselves to it. Well, and we're going not... to put some of it on TV, too. Yeah. Now, I went there a couple of times as Mark Lindy, regular citizen. Right. Even though I didn't grow up in the neighborhood, I'm a friend of yours, so yeah, I got yeah. to go. Mm -hmm. But I ran for office a couple of times. Yeah. You are allowing the politicians to come we down and introduce themselves? Oh, we welcome the politicians. It's just as long as they understand that there's no speeches. It's just go around, just shake hands, and let them know who they are. And that's, you know, and, and enjoy. Todd Petty came one, one day dressed like you with a suit and a tie, and he was all pol political and all that stuff. And he went walking around. He saw some people he graduated from high school with. They offered him some collard greens and whatever else they had down there, and he had a good time. When, mm -hmm. The next time he came, because usually the members sit up there by Crescent Street. Right. Yeah. And, and uh, he came back up there. It was, I think it was around 4 o'clock. Yeah. He didn't have a tie on. He didn't have a suit on. His shirt was wet because he was having such a good time. You well, know, I had, I had a blast. Yeah, I was sitting yeah. with you, and I remember you. So I don't know who it was, but I remember someone. And I'm doing the whole pitch about voting for me. Yeah. And you said he can't vote for you. He doesn't even live here. <laughs> It that's, was a riot. That's my son's uh, father-in-law. There yeah, you go. Yeah, so uh -huh. it, was, it was a lot right, of fun. Yeah, uh -huh. We also got a band this time. Yes, yes. The, the, the mayor is... About two minutes left. Yeah, yeah the mayor is going to um, uh, donate a band for us. Isn't okay. that beautiful? Okay. And, and they're called... Um, Smooth Vibes. Smooth Vibes, that's right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's going to be four to six. Right. So four what's the time on the whole event? From, from sunset to sunrise. Oh, there you go. When the okay. mosquitoes start uh, biting. Yeah. Okay, and I have a thank you in here. You want to thank somebody? Who I want to thank? thank John Dorgan for all the work that he's done for over the years. Mm -hmm. We appreciate Tim Carpenter, but John was right there, and he comes to our picnics every year. He does. And, and he, he, he stays right there and, and uh, socializes with us, and I appreciate that. Okay, yeah. so in case anyone wants more information about this beforehand, is there a phone number or anything? Yeah, they can call my number. I'm not hiding from anybody. What it's is it? <laughs> Joan Madden. Yeah. 508-580-1143. One, one, mm -hmm. I remember that number because I've been dialing for many years. <laughs> so, Joan, it's a pleasure. Thanks for coming in and talking and about it. And thanks for having me. I really appreciate well, it. Well, we wanted yeah. you on this side of the camera for yeah, a thank, okay? thank you, yes. Bye. Thanks, Joe. Thank you. Appreciate it. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Um, you're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.